Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading with me, Cindy. So, Gem, we're going to start with this, the Divine Animal Oracle card for you from this deck. And we're going to go into the Light Seers. Oh, the Two of Wands. Looking out the window. Thinking about the possibilities. I'm going to go into the Light Seers Tarot to find out some more in-depth information for and of and about you. So, oh! As well, there is an extended at the end of this. So if this reading resonates with you and you are drawn to the extended, the link is at the top of the description of this video. Comments are also turned off on um, Zodiac and pre-recorded readings. You can, however, if you really like, would like to comment or express your feelings, you can go to the community section of this channel and you can comment over there. I'm really excited. I don't remember if I said in the Taurus reading. I'm going to say it all day now. I said in the Aries reading. I went to my dentist today and this appliance has been moving my palate forward. Or growing it forward. She didn't say growing it forward because that's what it's doing. It's applying like a pressure and my bone is knitting to bring it forward to correct my bite. So my jaws now come forward. Um, and it's been interfering with my speech for like six months. It comes out on Monday. <laughs> I have a big writing on my calendar. 9 a.m. Dentist! Exclamation! 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 <laughs> I love it for what it's done for me, but our relationship is over now. So it's time to go. Just like that. I want to do the Queen of Swords with it, Gemini. Cut it out. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let the dentist do that. So, this is probably the last reading I will do for you, for this sign, anyways. Um, with this doohickey in my mouth. And now I have full braces, so I can deal with that. That's okay. Mm, come on, can we get a card? Can we get a card, Gemini? Thank you. Oh, look at that. This is an intriguing card. Beauty. I really don't know what to make of it. It's so odd. As she's naked in the water, she's blindfolded. She can't see what she's doing. <laughs> she's trying to touch a bubble, but there's a swan getting there before her. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a really weird card. I'm going to go right to the book. Like, to me, it feels a little bit precarious. So I'm not sure how beauty comes into it. Beauty is something unseen, you could say. But yet, the swan to me feels aggressive. <laughs> I don't know. What does it say here? Let, let's hear that. You know what? I might need to read you the whole myth. I don't know that I've read the myth to this one. So let's, let's get into it, shall we? You might just enjoy hearing me slurp and slop. And this with my thing in my mouth for the last time. Beauty is all around us if we care to observe it. The natural world provides so much of it. However, remember beauty is highly subjective. Love yourself first and know yourself. Look for the beauty in the situation. Ask and your questions will be answered. See, I look for the beauty in the situation of this thing in my mouth. The myth of this. Okay, now it'll have something to do with the, the picture in here. It is the Greek god of light, music, healing, and prophecy, Apollo, who is most closely linked with the swan. Apollo's mother, Leto, caught the eye of the king of the gods, Zeus. She refused him, so he turned his form into a swan and seduced her. Ow! Leto gave birth under duress on the island of Delos to twins, both archers. The formidable Artemis and the beautiful Apollo. As the god of music, it's just kind of funny, like twins, and this is a Gemini reading. As the god of music, Apollo loved to hear great musicians play and would often, often come down to earth to hear and bless great music. One of his favorites was a human called Cygnus. For many years, Apollo listened to Cygnus's sublime music and until one day, Cygnus died. Sad that he would never hear such music again, Apollo turned Cygnus into a swan and elevated him into the sky, the night sky among the stars. This is how the constellation Cygnus came to appear in the sky. I don't know if I'm saying that right. As a healer, referred to by the word Pan, Apollo had a chariot pulled by swans. 
and where possible, his temples had swans that had made their home there. Swans are associated with love and beauty in the Greek culture and were sacred protected animals. It was also believed that swans would be mute until they were close to death. Then they would sing a stunningly haunting and beautiful song to the gods. This is the origin of the term swan song. I still, I don't know what it is about this card that I had trouble, trouble connecting. <laughs> it's my brain. I mean, maybe y'all are getting it real good. I understand that beauty is also in the eye of the beholder. This is obviously the depiction of Zeus coming in to claim his wife, but he had to fool her. So it feels deceptive. The swan is also a symbol of beauty. Ah, now I'm getting it. Okay, it's in the eye of the beholder. Maybe love is in the eye of the beholder for you. Maybe beauty, deception, twins. Could have something to do with um, partners, siblings, family, lovers. This is the bottom. Maybe that'll give us, oh, the bull. Sacrifice and news and groundedness and beaver. I can't talk about the cosmic beaver. There's the cosmic beaver. <laughs> it's so cute. The bull is sacrificed. This is like the sacrificial lamb, the kind of the story behind it. Being sacrificed to the gods. A spilling of the blood of this beautiful bull, usually like a prized bull in the community. I want to pull out tarot cards because I really, it's just a weird feeling where it's like the cards aren't talking to me. And that's kind of the odd thing. Like it, it's almost like something's been turned off. And maybe that's the message here. Like it's like something has, like the switch has been turned off on these cards all of a sudden on those. And this is the one that activated that. This like somehow turned everything off. It's almost like it's blocking the message for me to you. Maybe maybe you're meant to interpret it without my interpretation because it's I'm being blocked. I feel like I'm being blocked. I'm being blocked. I'm being blocked. I like it. I'm the reader here. Uh oh. Let's see what the tarot. The tarot very rarely blocks. And let's see. I'm going to look at your energy right now, what your challenge is, what you should focus on, what's going on in your past, your strength, and your future. Oh, the devil, but let me do this. Your, your underlying is hurry up and wait with <laughs> the chariot and the knight of pentacles. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and go. Maybe that's kind of it. Like there's a juxtaposition going on over here. Hurry up and wait. Let's get going. No, let's take our time and really think about it. Let's do step by step here. Let's not rush into anything. Oh, let's just do it. No, we better wait. You got a funny going on reading here, Gemini. Okay, right now, you're having a rebirth. Maybe that's why things are kind of like hidden, muffled. Volume is turned down. <sighs> Look at what your future card is. It's the High Priestess. Right now, it's like you're having a rebirth. You're being, your challenge is the universe is taking you somewhere. Taking you somewhere, and maybe you don't really know where you're going. Oh, yeah, her eyes are closed. She's looking down. She's blindfolded. You can't see her eyes. Her eyes are closed. She's blindfolded. Do you see what I mean about being blocked? It's here. I'm not making that up. It's here. The only two that are looking, that are really looking anywhere to see anything, is the devil and the two of wands. And she's just paying attention out the window. But he's looking right at us. He's the past. He's coming in as the past. This is really interesting. Because the number of people in this reading that are not looking or are actually blindfolded is really significant. 
The only thing where you could see anything was the devil in the past. The devil could see. In the future, though, you won't need to see because your mind's eye is going to see again. Oh, maybe that's why this is happening to me in your reading. It's like to explain to almost like to bring me what you're feeling. It's a little bit like your intuition maybe feels blocked or you don't understand what people are talking about. <laughs> Do you like what you're saying makes no sense. I don't know. There's there's something going on here with communication and observation. The obvious of that seems like there's a bit of a block there. But in the future, you are tapped in. You are tapped in like the hose is hooked right up to the faucet there, ma'am. It's going to come in. It's not going to come in the way you're going to see it. Because a surprise from the universe is a two of swords. This is coming up as a surprise. So you you still can't really see where you're going. But the universe is taking you somewhere and they're not showing you. They're really not showing you. It's a whole new chance again. It feels like, like lifting you. Lifting you above your station. Lifting you above where you've been. And maybe that's why you can't see it. Because you've never been there before. So you can't even imagine it. It's almost like looking at maybe you're looking at like a rich and famous and looking in a magazine and seeing how they live. You can see it, but you can't really imagine it. Like to know what it's like to, I don't know. Mm. We're going to order in caviar and crepes for dinner. <laughs> see, I, I don't know. I just like maybe caviar and crepes. I don't know what would be really fancy expensive. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just don't know how extravagant it could be. Or it's just something or a lifestyle. Like, maybe the universe is trying to take you from one continent to another. But you really have no idea. You can't even imagine it until you get there. I gotta clarify this stuff. Because it's just, this is a really interesting reading, Gemini. Okay. What I want to say on a spiritual level, and because we have the high priestess coming up in the future, is if you yourself are a reader, if you are a reader, intuitive reader on some level, if you scry, if you look at tarot cards, psychic palm, and all of a sudden it kind of feels like the dial's been turned off, it's almost like because you're going through an upgrade on that level here. You're going through an upgrade, but for other people too, I feel like you are you're going you're going somewhere if it's not in a physical sense and it feels a little bit like it eventually will be with the six of swords it's definitely on a mental level but it's your mental capacity that's doing an upgrade your mental capacity is going in for an upgrade here and it's a little bit like you know if you could take in the car in for a tune-up well it's not running while it's being tuned up, it's got to be turned off. It has to cool off or they can't touch any of the parts because it'll be too hot. It's exactly what it is. It's like a tune up for you. You're having a tune up. So you've been turned off right now. So don't worry about it. It'll come back. I'm going to see what I can pull out for you. So the judgment card, <laughs> the two of swords, <laughs> two of pentacles. Oh my God. <laughs> the two of swords and the two of pentacles. <laughs> It's like you have choices to make, but you don't know how to make them. You have choices to make, you don't know how to make them. You're not being given the information. You're not being given the direction. And this is a challenge. It's almost like, well, what direction do we go? Spirit, you usually have me pulling this ship. Where are we going to go? You got to tell me. The Six of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Nine of Wands. Like, it's the... <laughs> She's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired of asking, Cindy. I thought I would come to this tarot reading and you could give me all my answers. I feel like I'm being blocked because you're being blocked. And it will work that way. Okay. So focus on your success. Just focus on your success. What can that mean for you? Let's clarify that. Because you're going to have success here. And people are going to be cheering you on like, oh, you are fine. You're doing a fine job. Let's focus on that. The Six of Wands. The three of hearts. Oh, look at that. The three of hearts. The swords through the heart. The conflict between mind. 
mind, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And what do you got here? But you got two fives and one is swords and one is feelings and emotions. Ah, wow. Focus on this. Don't focus on where you're going. Focus on what's going on inside here. Ah. Isn't it funny how clear that is? What the universe wants you to focus on? That's crystal clear for me to tell you. Everything else is wishy-washy. Yeah, you're tired with this. Ah, you don't know whether to go left or right. But you know what? You're still asking me to go left or right. I got stuff I got to deal with here. Like, come on, we got to be practical spirit. <laughs> What's happening? Any conflict that you feel between your heart and your mind... And it doesn't have to be like um, like romantic either. It can be maybe there's something that you really want to do at work or for your family. Um, you can see the logic behind this, but you know it might hurt some people or it might hurt you, but you can see the logic in it. Like, or your heart's not really into this, but your mind is telling you, well, you should be. You're being told to focus inside, man. Don't, no wonder you're all blindfolded. You're not supposed to see outside of yourself right now. The devil was the past. All right, devil. What's going on? You're looking right at me, huh? The devil was the past. Well, in the past, you had like real good abundance, stability, happiness. What the hell happened? But the devil's giving you that? Well, that's no wonder. Oh, it's reminding me of something really cool it's reminding me of the whole series breaking bad so i finally finished watching it if you haven't watched it it uh it's all about um a college uh no high school <laughs> high school chemistry teacher who is diagnosed with um lung cancer he can't afford the cancer treatments so because he's a chemist he's really good at chemistry he creates meth and he's selling meth and anyways he goes down a really bad road to make money for his cancer treatment and for his family to have. And one of the lessons in this is that I learned is he got away with some incredible shit, man, when he was working with the devil. When he started working with the devil, his cancer went into remission, nobody could touch him. He ended up becoming the major drug lord in the area when all he really wanted to do at first was just have some extra money. Um, do you see like the devil bought the house the happiness. The minute, the minute, and it doesn't take place until like the last couple of episodes in the entire series that he finally walks away from the devil. Everything falls apart. He's no longer, um, his cancer comes back. He ends up in bad situation, just bad. Like nothing is going his way. And then he dies. Oh, I want that. I want to, sorry. I hope I didn't wreck that. If anyone is watching, you think he's got terminal cancer anyways. He's going to die at some point. Um, but I, I watched that and I thought, look at that. It's an example of when you have some sort of connection with the devil, and we can all have that in different ways. His is an extreme example, very extreme. But from the time, it was almost like he signed a contract. Every time he was given the opportunity to pull out of something, but he didn't do it because he was enticed by the power. He was enticed by the money. He was enticed by, um, it really like self, it made him feel really self-empowered and he took it. He said, no, I'm going with it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to this next level. So the devil's almost like, well, that's fine. I run, I run all the bad stuff on earth here. I'll make sure none of it comes near you. None of it's going to come near you. You're going to get everything you want. You're going to think you're so happy. He kept making that deal with the devil. He kept doing that and he kept winning, but winning bad. Oh, the karma was <laughs> back behind that. He's got lifetimes to clear that. Oh, and he destroyed his family. Like he was trying to, it kept, he owned up. I want to say he erased a little tiny bit of karma at the end because he did say he, he finally, when he was on the run, he went back to see his estranged wife one last time. And he said, I just need a proper goodbye. And um, he said, I really need you to know why I did this. And she looked at him and she said, well, stop lying. You weren't doing this for you. And he said, You're, I wasn't doing it for the family. I was doing it for me. 
And like he finally owned up to that. There's something here in the past where I don't know. I don't want to say you made a bad deal with the devil. But I do feel like there was something that enticed you. It seemed really good. And maybe it was an opportunity. Um, it could be a, a career jump. And maybe there was something that you had to do that you know was a little bit off in terms of your moral standing. Mm, maybe, uh, you know, somebody gave you the opportunity to say, do you think such and such is worthy of that position as well? And you knew very well that they were. It's just, there's something here. This isn't, this wasn't real in the past. And it might be falling apart. Because now you're making choices where you're refusing to sign the contract. So you're kind of in a void. You're in a bit of a void space. You're refusing to sign the contracts. And the, the key to that is refusing to make those signatures early. Whereas in the show that I was talking about, you're going and going and going and going to the point where it was just incredible. But when he finally said no. Well, then you just lost all your protection. Your cancer's back. The police are coming to get you. This is happening. That's happening. You're losing your house. You're like, everything falls apart. And you see it happen to people. I don't know. I don't know who I'm reading for. Maybe I'm reading for someone who's a drug lord. That's why I don't divulge my address. No. Oh. Your strength is the two of wands. Is to start. Almost like start fresh. Start fresh. Start simple. There's nothing extravagant and expensive here in this room. There's some sort of connecting that with the devil. Mm. That's not good. I mean, if this is not resonating for you, it's not. But you can't pull these cards out with the devil in your past and say that was a good thing. There was something, you were handed an opportunity that was not necessarily perhaps above board or it was a little bit you know too you could have been lying to yourself you could have rightly been lying to yourself that's the biggest lie we usually tell to anybody is when we lie to ourselves about something here that it really didn't make you happy is realizing that so now your strength is to look out and imagine a better day for yourself and to leave everything else behind because this is where she's looking she's not She's not looking down. Her eyes aren't closed. She's not blindfolded. Maybe that's what it was before. You were blindfolded to what you really wanted because you are being asked. The one thing where I could see that you were being asked to look is within yourself. The two of wands. This two of wands. Yeah, I got to say that Breaking Bad was not easy to watch. But it was deep. I thought the character development was so deep. It was almost like... It was like Shakespeare. I was just like, wow, this is crazy. There's so many things going on within other things here. The two of wands, you are going to manifest justice. You have made the right call here. As bad as something might have been, or for whatever reason you took it when you did, you finally stepped up. You stepped up early in the season. You didn't go into season five to finally say, yeah, I probably didn't do this anymore. You stepped up early and it's early enough that you're going to manifest balance. Balance. You're clearing karmic energy. The high priestess is in your future. The high priestess is in your future. Is it? It is. Look what you're doing. This is, this is where you're turning around that contract from the devil. The Four of Cups, missing opportunities, but missing opportunities in what? Opportunities of the heart? Opportunities of emotional fulfillment with Cups? And the King of Wands, being your own leader, taking control and moving with your heart, moving forward. This is what motivates you. And your intuition, too. This is also an indicator where the intuition was lost and it comes back real strong. This is a really intriguing reading, Gemini. It took me a second to get it going here. Okay, so this is the surprise from the universe. It's going to be interesting to clarify. The Two of Swords is a surprise from the universe.
Wow. It's cool. The Tower card. It's going to be a big surprise. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Tower card. It feels like to me, your energy, if you've been really focused, if you keep your head down, stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane, Gemini. I can't say it enough right now because there's going to be, this is going to keep picking away at you to try to find, come on, come on, you know you liked it. Come on. Oh, it was great when we were together. Didn't you like that? Come on. It's going to, yeah, oh, look, this intrigues you. Mm -mm -mm. Keep your head down. You keep internalized here. It's going to make a massive change for you. But I don't feel like I'm allowed to show it. Like, it's not, it's not one of those readings. You can't know. It's you're breaking the contract with the devil. And you're doing it by making choices. That's how we take that's how we take a contract with the devil. You make a choice. Devil says, Great. I love you to enjoy working with you. It's gonna be great. You gotta do some shit though. Could be great rewards. Great rewards. <laughs> beauty, let's clarify that. This beauty and the swan card. You want to passionately go towards sharing your energy and working, but right now it's just putting you in your head. It's just making you anxious. It's giving you nightmares. Like the nightmare I had about my dentist. Did I tell you? <laughs> I told you now. Anyways, I'm going to keep talking about that. <laughs> Terrible dream. Poor guy. The sacrifice. Are you sacrificing something of yourself? Because that is an excellent way. I don't mean to, like... And to do that, like, throw yourself in front of anything like that. No. I mean, taking the high road where there is something that perhaps the devil is dangling. Dangling a really juicy apple for you. Um, but you know if you take that apple, you're bucking some other, other responsibility or something that you're supposed to focus on. Because with this sacrifice, I feel like... If you refuse that apple, the universe, the universe can provide you so much more. God, source, whatever you want to call it, can provide you so much more than the devil. And you can have both of these cards without that behind it. If the, if the devil is offering you one juicy apple, the universe is going to offer you an abundance of those apples or one massive, massive juicy apple. If you've made some sort of a sacrifice about something you know you need to do, it's really important. It's it's like it has something to do with your moral standing and your moral ground. A sacrifice with the bull? Wow. Whoa, what are you sacrificing? Holy crap. The two of cups and the six of cups. You laid it down. Like you laid it down. is going you laid it down the nine of pentacles look at your abundance is coming it's going to come in whoa where did the camera go it's going to come in hurry up and wait that's what this is this is what you really want to do this is what walter white inside you that was the chemist in the tv show this is what you want to do you want to just move forward without really just go but this is the practical side of you this is the size that's saying, you know what? There's some practical things that have to be done. These things can't be missed. They have to be done or it could hurt someone long-term. It could disappoint someone. I could disappoint myself. It's got to be done. Wow. This is really taking the high road, Gemini. And it's not an easy road to go. The sacrifice is the two of cups and your six of cups. This is like a deep soulmate connection past life connection it could even be someone like that you're with right now it could be your partner your spouse 
and you've got to focus on something else right now. Maybe there's other family, other family matters. There's work that needs to be done. The Eight of Pentacles is here. Maybe that's what it is. You could even have someone, Gemini, that you're connected with, and they have to focus on work right now. And it's left you feeling kind of like, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. I thought we had a connection here. But there's a big tower moment coming in. So there's some sort of a sacrifice. Perhaps both of you being asked to make a sacrifice. I'll tell you, it's better than taking his deal. You could watch that. Well, don't watch it if you're squeamish. <laughs> I had to look away a few times watching that show. <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's fascinating. Really fascinating. Like... I can't think of the last time I watched a TV show with that much depth and the characters and the storyline. And then once you get to the end of it, you really see it. And you can really see how every time he had an opportunity to say no or to stop, he didn't. And by doing that, he not only made that deal with the devil, but the devil gave him protection. Like nobody could stop him. And then he started to realize that. Till he broke that deal with the devil, everything came crumbling down. So that seemed like a really interesting reading. I'm going to leave it at that. Oh, no, I'm going to go to the extended. Oh, geez, where that's going to go. We're going to see where that's going to go. All right. Thank you so much, Gemini. Until next time, I hope I'll have this out of my mouth. Do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.